Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today we are going to be doing some acrylic pouring with one of my favorite paints, the Primal Flow Premixed Ready to Pour Paints. These paints are so awesome and easy to use. All you have to do is shake them up and pour them out of the bottle. You don't have to mix anything or add anything to them. So they're really awesome if you're in a hurry or if you're new to acrylic pouring, I'm going to be using the ink and gold, the most beautiful gold. It's so pretty and dries really nice and metallic. Cranberry, pumpkin, espresso, and olive green. And I'm just going to alternate my colors in the cup here. This is just a little six ounce cup. My canvas is an 11 by 14 canvas. And I had tried to do a flower dip, but it didn't turn out. So I ended up scraping that off. And I'll link Primal Flow's information down below if you want to check them out and get some paint. So that's what you can see on my canvas already. But I did get some really cool um, little rounds that I dipped from when I scraped the paint off of my canvas. You can see the three little rounds up there. I'll probably turn those into magnets. So I'm just layering my colors in the cup here, as you can see, and then I'm gonna go in and do kind of like a ribbon pour. And just kind of pour it straight out of my cup onto the canvas. Super easy and simple. And I got some really fun lines on this piece too. And the colors go together really well. The cranberry and the pumpkin are so pretty together. And here I took some of that green and just kind of put it around. I don't even know honestly why I did that. It's not a necessary step. I thought it might help my paint flow a little bit better, but I didn't even smooth it out. So I was like, what in the world? When I watched this back, I was like, why did I do that? So I'm just going to tilt it here and see what I can come up with. At the end, you'll see it, it gave me kind of like a geode vibe. Remind me of like a geode. So what I did is I took some vase filler and I got that off of Amazon. It's basically like crushed glass. And I took some of that with some gold dust metallic powder from Stone Coat Countertops and sprinkled that on the wet paint. And one thing that's really cool is when you're doing your fluid art, you know, um, the vase filler and crushed mirror and crushed glass, if you sprinkle that on wet paint, when the paint dries, it will stay put, which is kind of awesome. And then you can sprinkle like even little chunks of gold leaf or this gold dust powder that I have from Stone Coat's really cool too for this. So I thought this piece would be a good candidate for adding a little bit of embellishment. It's pretty, but it just needed a little something extra. So I went ahead and um, added some of this here I'll show you the vase filler and the stone coat gold metallic powder and I'll link those down below too if you want to check them out this is what the vase filler looks like this one's almost gone but it comes in a really big jug it lasts a really long time you can use this in your resin art too if you do resin art and then this gold dust metallic powder I sprinkled that on top, let it dry for a few weeks, I want to say three weeks, and now I'm going to give it a clear coat of resin with the ClearCast 7050 resin from the Epoxy Resin Store. And if you guys need any resin, definitely check them out. They have great resin and really good prices, and discount code NAPTIME20 will save you 20%. So I had my resin all mixed up off camera. If you're new to resin and you wanna see how to mix up your resin, I will link a video down below that shows you exactly how to do that. I just cut it out of this video to save time. And the ClearCast 7050 is a two to one ratio. So I mixed up 15 ounces because I was working on a few different projects. Since the ClearCast 7050 is a two to one ratio, I mixed five ounces of my part B into my mixing cup and 10 ounces of my part A into my mixing cup and then stirred that up for five minutes. And here we are, I just sprinkled a little bit onto my canvas. You can kind of see the gold dust metallic powder kind of poofing up into the air here. So when you work with that stuff, you wanna make sure you have some type of mask because you don't want to be breathing that in. So I'm just going in with my finger and smoothing it all around. 
being really careful around that vase filler because it can be sharp. You don't want to make a hole in your glove. So just be careful when you're working with a vase filler or crushed mirror. And um, I just sprinkled the vase filler and the gold dust metallic powder off camera onto the wet paint like I had said before. And it stayed put really nicely. The gold dust metallic was kind of flaking off a little bit, but when you, if you didn't want to do resin on your painting and you wanted to just do varnish, when you do that, um, you could just seal it with some clear coat spray before you varnish and then that would seal it so it wouldn't come up off your piece. But I didn't mind um, because I kind of like, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love the sparkly art. So I was okay with it kind of coming up and going over to the other sections of paint. So I'm just going in, making sure the edges are nice and covered with my resin. Just making sure that every single spot of the piece is covered so no canvas is showing up through there. I just really love how resin brings the paint back to life. And the Clearcast 7050 has extra added UV protection so you don't have to worry about yellowing. It's really good for top coating your art and it's really easy to use. It literally only took me like five minutes to get this piece covered. So if you've been wanting to coat your acrylic pores with resin, but have been a little intimidated, I can totally relate because I was at first too, but it's really easy and you'll love the way your acrylic pores look under resin. It just is so pretty. The paints really come back to life. So I put this painting in my dust-free zone for 24 hours and now here it is all nice and dry. Look at that shine from the resin. And that ink and gold is just so pretty. I think adding the vase filler and the gold dust metallic helped this painting. I might add a little bit more to it, but I'm not 100% sure if it's finished or not. I was thinking of maybe like hand doing some more lines on there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you guys are all doing good and you're having a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all so, so much. And let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. And if you need any resin, definitely check out the Epoxy Resin Store and use code NAPTIME20 to save 20%. And also uh, check out Primal Flow Paint if you want to get some of the pre-mixed ready-to-pour paints. They're so awesome and easy to use. I will see you guys on Monday for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.